love, lots of clapping, lots of cheering. One, two, three, go! Give it up, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Emmanuel! All right. <laughs> Good evening, Comedy Store. Uh, I nearly didn't make it here tonight. I'm very happy to be here, but I nearly didn't make it. I was uh, training for the elite Black Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> Getting there. Actually, I actually didn't nearly make it. Um, I was caught up uh, trying to do my top button up. Uh, <laughs> I haven't taken a breath for about 15 minutes. Uh, <laughs> If I fall over, it's not part of the set. Like, I'm in trouble. <laughs> oh, no, I'm very happy to be I, I do love coming back to the comedy store. But I love the comedy store crowd. I love the... Uh, you're just nice people. Much nicer than a lot of the gigs I've done. I did a gig a little, uh, little while ago, right? And this random guy heckled me. All right, he's dead now, so... <laughs> Make that clear at the beginning, just so we all know what the standard is, all right? <laughs> uh, sure, I, I was doing this gig in Romford, and um, worst thing is, I hadn't said anything. I was walking to the stage to get the microphone, and this guy just shouted out, Oi, are you that guy from the Green Mile? <laughs> I was like, yeah. It's out of order, isn't it? Like, I look nothing like Tom Hanks. <laughs> uh, nothing at all. But it's all right. It's one, of those, it's one of those judgment things you have to deal with when, when you're this size, but... Being this side, not gonna lie, does have its perks. I, I haven't paid for a train ticket for years. <laughs> not that I'm a bad person, I would pay, but every time I see a ticket inspector, they get on the train and they come up to me and they're like, tickets please, tickets please. All right, mate, tickets please. <laughs> they just get off the train, so I'll stop bothering. But uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's not all bad. There's been times when um, being this size has helped. I was a bouncer in nightclubs for like 15 years. And during that whole time, all I had to do was stare at people and they'd throw themselves out. <laughs> it's brilliant. Anyone does anything I don't like or anything, says something I don't like, all you've got to do is breathe in and do this. Like. <laughs> they just leave. Sometimes I weren't angry, I was just thinking about what I've got to do the next day. They just happen to be in the way. Yeah, it's brilliant. But um, I actually stopped being a bouncer a few, uh, few years ago. I stopped when my son was born, which was a uh, good timing because I started to feel old. The worst thing is I'm not that old, but I'm at that borderline where slang makes no sense. Well, like, everyone will know, you, if you've got someone that you work with that's younger than you that you assume's the same age, then they say something stupid and you're just like, what? <laughs> like the first time you heard someone said, orcs. You had no idea what it meant. It was that kind of, kind of thing, right? And I'll give you an example. Does anyone know the popular slang now for going to the gym? Right? It's called banging gym. Now, that's okay once it's been explained to you, right? But the first time I heard it... Yeah. I'm outside the club and there's two boys talking. They're not doing anything wrong. They're just talking. And one's going, yo, fam, are you still banging gym? And I thought... Nice, they can be this open, <laughs> but then it got weird because the other guy's like, Yeah, I'm still banging gym, I'm banging gym five, six times a week, bro. Are you still banging gym? And I just thought, I've got to ask a question, haven't I? Like, boys, who's gym? <laughs> then it got explained to me, and I thought, All right, that's, that's okay, but that's not the worst one's the one for a stabbing, right? Because this one's weird. The slang for a stabbing now is called wetting you up, yeah, it's weird, and again, it's fine once it's been explained to you, but the first time. I heard that, it kicked off, we had to throw some boys out of the club. And one of them threatened me, he's gone, bruv, I'm going to come back here, and man's going to wet you up. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm born, in, I, I grew up in the 90s, right? So I'm thinking, worst case scenario, water fight. <laughs> right. And I'm wearing a jacket, so do your worst, mate. <laughs> but then he got explained to me, right? And I'll be honest, I thought, that is cool. I'm going I'm I'm to use it. That is, that is badass. I'm definitely using that one. But I waited so long to use it that I forgot what it was and then completely just messed it up. <laughs> like, it was months later when it kicked off and I got to throw someone out. I thought, you know what? This is my moment. I'm going to do it. So when that kid looked round, I started off with the stare and just looked at him straight in the eyes like, mate, if you come back to this club, 
I'm going to make you so wet. <laughs> and I just banged Jim. <laughs> I thought it worked, because he ran. I was like, yeah, better run. <laughs> 